With so many issues still unresolved, let's talk about what the new year will bring for US-Turkey relations. Matthew, we're going to start with you again. Donald Trump, he has accepted an invitation from Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to visit in 2019. What do you think will be on the top of their discussion agenda? Hmm. Well, I would guess probably the, the moving out of U.S. forces from Syria and Turkey moving in uh, will be at the very top. And I think uh, this is actually a great moment potentially for turning around U.S.-Turkey relations. Now, the decision by President Trump was, is extremely unpopular in Washington. Uh, but as far as U.S.-Turkey relations go, uh, if the U.S. and Turkey can work together on the transition, if Turkey does take on the responsibility to, to stabilize northern Syria, which means, of course, expelling the YPG, and if the U.S. facilitates Turkey's efforts and doesn't oppose them, I think we could see a, a new er, a positive era in U.S.-Turkey relations. But besides that, there are other difficult issues on the agenda, including mm. the, uh, Fethullah Gulen. Fethullah Gulen, that's um, the one. That's one. Do you think it's going to be raised? Oh, for sure it will mm. be raised. You know, in recent weeks, it's leaked out of Washington that President Trump was checking to see whether or not or how to have uh, Mr. Gulen extradited. Uh, we know that the FBI has been proceeding with an investigation, an organized criminal investigation of the Gulen network in the United States. So clearly the, the, the wheels of justice are turning in the United States uh, to Gulen's disadvantage. Uh, the question remains, though, is there enough information available to convince a, a judge in a U.S. court of law uh, to proceed with the extradition? But I, I'm convinced that President Trump would like to see the extradition happen. Mm, it's going to be a really interesting one, that. Uh, but I'm going to come back to uh, the U.S. pulling out of Syria, Talib. They're currently pulling out now. Uh, they had been working alongside Turkey's sworn enemy, the YPG. Do you think the U.S. pullout is going to have a positive effect on Turkey-U.S. relations? Because that has been a sticking point for so long. Well, I think there is an optimistic uh, view on Turkey, an expectation as well, uh, as far as we can see. I think that decision is in itself, you know, uh, regardless of the uh, developments later on, is uh, welcoming. Uh, Turkey's the government has welcomed this decision. But let me underline one fact. Turkey was not objecting the presence of U.S. soldiers uh, in, mm. in Syria. What Turkey objected was U.S. support to YPG. Uh, this was the main issue between Turkey and the U.S. actually. Therefore, Turkey expects that uh, you know, by withdrawal also U.S. will withdraw its support from PYD and YPG. Because they haven't as Trump, said that though yet, right, have they? Yes, I think that, that is going to be one of the discussions between Trump and Erdogan mm -hmm. if Trump comes next year to Turkey. Because our uh, main purpose, Turkey would like to clean this area from uh, any terrorist groups. Uh, as Turkey perceives them uh, a threat to national security and also uh, uh, regional stability. This will continue. But again, the decision uh, has been welcomed by the Turkish government and Turkish authorities, although there is a uh, you know, criticism within the U.S. government uh, about this. But I think what we seek for is a regional stability, you know, political transition. I think Trump uh, a few days ago also stated that there should be a political transition in Syria as well, because as uh, the, you know, the, the world community believes that the Assad regime lost the, its uh, 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 transparency, accountability, and also legitimacy because now uh, half of the population is displayed. Uh, five and a half million are living around uh, the country in Turkey, Jordan, and Lebanon. And within the country, we see enmities, we see a lot of troubles. Uh, so th therefore, I think this is an important move. But what matters is if the following developments because also U.S. expects from Turkey that, you know, there are some remnants of Daesh and Turkey mm, uh, is going to, to take some responsibility. Uh, this is not, a, of course, easy job, but I think Turkey has some experience in terms of intervention in the northern part of Syria militarily with some uh, local forces. And I think we have seen in two cases that there has been relative success. And also, as the Turkish uh, Minister of Interior explained, almost 300,000 Syrians uh, now are back to their own countries because of those uh, interventions.